Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. We have finally updated Crusader Kings 2 to include Conclave. We've updated the Game of Thrones modification. And I'm picking up a series that we tried a very long time ago. People of the channel will realise that... Uh, I can't even remember how long ago it was. But we had Tywin Lannister. And we're going to do this. It's in a Clash of Kings scenario. Because I know people like this. And this should be a fairly short series. Which is going to allow me to get to grips. With the changes that have happened in the most recent modification. As well as the Conclave changes. Which are appearing to be very interesting indeed. So shall we get on with it? I think so. Lord Paramount Tywin, I declare that my brother Robert left no trueborn issue of his body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Mycella being abominations of incest between Cersei Lannister and Sir Jaime, the Kingslayer. By right of birth and blood, I do lay claim to the Iron Throne, as all true men declare their loyalty. Signs Stannis of House Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals, the Rhinar, and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Well, clearly, they're all wise. So, with the death of my son in law, King Robert I, Lord Eddard Stark attempted to usurp the throne. After justice was done, Rob Stark, heir of late Lord Eddard, and self styled King of the North, managed to capture my valiant son Jamie at the Battle of the Whispering Woods. We shall free him, wage vengeance on House Stark and crush the Baratheon Uprising, thereby securing the Iron Throne. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the realm, it is time to hear me roar. So, there we go, nice little introduction there, and as you can see, very nicely, we have Harren Hall as well. So. Before I get into anything, raising troops, anything like that, I'm actually going to check something out that I find quite interesting. We're in a little bit of a war against the Brotherhood without banners. Now the Brotherhood, I love the Brotherhood to bits, um, but they are not going to be able to stand a chance against us. We're going to make sure that we've got a certain commander and he's going to take care of them. Gregor Clegane, step forward. We'll put him in command of uh, of some people, and he'll hunt down the Brotherhood. Obviously, our other two wars are against Stannis and against Rob, but you all know that already. Let's have a look at Tywin himself, because we will try and best play this as Tywin would play it. So, as we can see with Tywin, obviously he is very sad. He's widowed. He's been widowed a long time. In fact, I believe in the books, the last time they said that Tywin smiled was at his wedding to Joanna who happens to also be his cousin. Yeah. And we have Ice there in our grasp as well. So he's a brilliant steward, quick and knight trained fighter, although we might not see a lot of that. Obviously widowed with Ice, temperate and proud, diligent to the end, ambitious as always, cynical, patient, authoritative and ruthless. In terms of his combat modifier, we are looking a 0.95 for dual skill multipliers. That's not too bad, it could be better, but I, I like the idea of that. He's an organiser, as we know, which is going to be good in this latest update. 20% movement speed, 10% retreat, that's good. Because if you don't know, there is now forced retreats going on in this. So we're not going to be able to uh, catch up anyone who's running away as quickly as we used to be able to do, we will have to chase them down over the course of a, a few provinces and then take care of them. He also leads from the rear so he surveys the ground in front of him, he makes careful plans, that sounds like Tywin. So in terms of diplomacy, a martial fairly even, excellent stewardship, great intrigue, okay on learned. As we know Jamie's uh, currently in the prison of King Rob, if we were to go ahead and try and that's the ransom, 209 is what it would take. However, we can try and plot a rescue. Plot power isn't really strong enough, so maybe we need to end that war. Cersei, as we know, is over in King's Landing, as is Tyrion, who is currently serving as Hand of the King. Now, let's have a look at some of the changes. Firstly, we have our council. So you'll be able to see um, that when we 
Um, appointed Gregor, the mountain that rides. Um, that's pretty much filled up all of our commander slots. I'm also going to pick a bodyguard. Now, in order to be a bodyguard, oh, you're a direct leader. I like some of these changes. Leading the center, Foley. Are you actually a commander straight away? Let me check. No, Jossamin, you can be fired, sir. And we'll give that to Foley. I like the idea of having some strong in the center. But now Foley has a. Does Foley need a title? Is that what it is? Oh, he's already there. Foolish, Burton. Foolish. Uh, well, at least we've opened that up. Um, Adam Marbrandt is currently there as well. Um, I think for our commander, we need someone who's going to be good at movement. Someone who can defend. Kevin. Should we do Kevin? I think we'll do Kevin Lannister. Okay, now we need a bodyguard. Someone who's currently not a commander would be good. Benedict Broom, skilled fighter. You, sir, step forward. So as you see, you've got the standard positions, um, which is fine. I'll go ahead and start getting some money back in the capital as well. I'm not going to train troops or anything. I think Benedict Broom will do an okay job on his own. Um, what are we going to do with uh, Roland Craycall? I think we're going to improve diplomatic relations. We do have someone better. We could have actually appointed Kevin. But I'll stick with Roland. And we're going to send them over to the Iron Islands. Because the Iron Islands are actually going to start trying to raid us and we want to try and uh, get people on side as best we can. So here's a new screen. Uh, you might not know it, so if you've been like me and you've avoided the most recent update. Um, just a quick overview. Each character has a character type as well. So obviously you have the Loyalist, which is what ideally we want. They will be a faithful servant to the ruler. We've got the Zealots and if you know anything about me and my playthroughs in the past, I don't like Zealots. Um, so we've got three of them currently on our council. We've also got our Pragmatists. Um, they'll always aim for the path of least resistance. I like that. Maybe we can send him the way we want to. And then we've got another Pragmatist, but powerful vassal. So I like these additional symbols. It's going to give us a good overview of who we've got. We've got an empty voter title. Okay, so just like a general advisor. Interesting. I think I'll uh, just have Kevin as an advisor. That's fine. I, I trust my brother. Why wouldn't we? Okay, so here's something else new. Children focus. Joy Hill. Jerry and Lannister's daughter. Now affectionate. Another new symbol. Willful. Brooding. So how are we going to make her? Her state intrigue's already good, so I think we improve upon that. So as you can see here, we have eight possibilities. Each focus has a potential outcome. Now what are we going to do? Curious or fussy, haunty or brooding, rowdy or willful? Hmm. I think we're going to teach her about duty. She's going to fall into line. And finally, four children lack an educational focus. So we've got Walder the Red, son of Eamon Frey. Already doing okay with intrigue and learning. Not bad stewardship either. Um, I think we'll go for a stewardship focus. Let me just see. He's Hang on, he's curious. Maybe not. We're going to go for intrigue. Now I like the idea that you have now a chance to pick a focus where young children. That's good. I like that. It's making the game a little bit deeper. Tion Thre uh, Frey, who is 15 years old, uh, son of Eamon once again, and he's imprisoned. Um, good Marshal. We'll try and make that a little bit better. Martin Lannister. State Diplomacy, I think we'll go through with you. So we've got Stewardship, Learning. Oh, in fact, no, let's do Learning Education. Ah, we cannot do it. Fair enough. Willem Lannister. There we go, we'll give you a marshal. Excellent, now it's time for us to pick a character focus for ourselves. Well, as we mean to rule, we will carry on that way. 
Contrary to popular belief, Tywin has been the person who has held together the realm for a very long time. You look at the reign of the Mad King, do you really think that he just turned mad in his later years? Surely there was some uh, quality control going on by Tywin when he was handed a king, so I think rulership is a very good thing for him as well. Uh, let's choose an ambition. We can adopt a lifestyle, fall in love, become exalted amongst all men. It's going to have to be the lifestyle, I think, for now. We're still widowed, so we can't marry, so don't worry too much about that. I think we are pretty much set. So, let's call up the good men of Harrenhal, and we'll make sure that a certain Clegane is in charge of them, and he is going to hunt down the Brotherhood without banners. So Foley, get out of that command slot. Tywin, no need for you to be there. Um, I'll actually put you with Leo and um, Benedict. I think that's fine. Let's push in and try and find out what we've got there. So obviously, we have the reach to ourselves. They've got a large army already fighting against the Fossilways, it looks like. So that's not going to go too well. So nice to see that not all of the reach are agreeing. Um, Let's call up our armies now. And here we go, here is our armies. Obviously it's been nerfed a little bit, which is nice to see. Because I believe in previously it was like 20, 30, even 40,000 sometimes. And I like this, it's going to make me a bit more conscientious about my men. I'm going to send them into this mountain territory, just in case we are attacked Why we are getting people together. So in command has happened to us, which is fine. Um, Excellent, okay. So, Mind Sazar, Grantable, we know this. Unmarried there, well we can't do anything about the heir. We can't really choose a wife unless she's currently in our court. Um, so we pretty much stuck here. Brotherhood without banners are actually attacking us. Go figure, so let's have a look who's leading. Gregor has been taken by surprise, that is somewhat embarrassing. Um, probably because he didn't have that many men, we didn't even out people, um, so it's left to Leo of Golden Tooth to actually try and save the day. Leading the charge is Harwin, former Stark man in the centre, Lem Lemon Cloak um, on the flank, and Thoris of Mir. So um, let's see how this goes. This is not the best start for the Lannister forces, and it looks like. The Northern Army have captured the reinforcements. That is not going to go well. In fact, we're going to bring this army round a little bit. But it looks like Gregor has lost. Not the best start. Can Leo pull it out? Ah, he's retreating. So it looks like Thoros has decided to go ahead and get this finished. So this is the retreat we are talking about. Shattered Retreat it's called. We have no control about where the men go to, obviously it's going to take a good long while for them to get there so we can use this again. Interesting, I do like that. I'm actually going to disband this force here, I'm not even going to risk them being caught and I'm going to do the same with these guys. It's fortunate in the way that we are being pushed this way because that is pretty much next to where we said we were gathering all of our forces, do not run straight into these. Mind you, I don't think you can, no, that's fine. That makes sense, I like this. Because you think about it, an organised army there would be marching in columns, formations and open land. People are in a shattered retreat, they are going to be split all over the place. So it makes perfect sense that a retreating army wouldn't run into a much larger one who is still in full formation. So like I say, I do expect this to be a fairly short series, we are just going to see it through to the end of the war. That is just something to sort of tide us over. It looks like Mace wants to make a marriage with Marielle, Stafford's daughter, with Willis. I'm going to decline that. If we had Cersei, we would actually try and get her over. Will she come? Wants to stay with her lover Sir Lance, are you kidding me? I'm not going to risk sending money as a gift, will Tyrion come back over to us? No he won't. Okay, well our men are almost together, we're not going to take on the Starks, they actually have a lot more than us. Oh, Joffrey wants something, what's he want? He wants to marry Tyrion to... yeah, that's not happening. I feel like we're going to get harassed with these things. That reminds me, let's actually have a look at Cersei properly. 
not particularly good. Their intrigue's okay. Flamboyant schema, obviously attractive and a twin. Envious, deceitful, all the things you would expect. With Tyrion himself, Elusive Shadow, Dwarf, Genius and Ugly. Hmm. So I think we're going to have to try and keep an eye on some important people. Um, so we are going to go ahead and watch Joffrey. And pretty much we're just going to watch all of the leaders here. And Dawn doing anything. Dawn or not, but let's keep an eye on them just in case. Can't trust Balon, so we'll do that as well. Robert Aaron. And let's just keep an eye on a certain Targaryen. Excellent, there we go. Right, we're pretty much set. Let's crack on with things now. So it looks like our shattered remnants of the army are pretty much on their way to us. We're going to have around about 22,000, 23. Which is good. I'm I'm liking the look of this. Let's get everyone where they need to be. Uh, no, I'm declining, and I'm gonna keep on declining. So ideally, what we want to do is well replace Harry's for a start. Castilian, who have we got? We've got Damon. Damon Ashmark. He's powerful. Do we really want to give him the power? We'll do that. We want our enemies to be taking care of each other, so that is what we shall do. We will bide our time, we will be patient, there we go. So what can we do while we're biding our time? Well firstly, let's organise the army. Lead in the centre plus 20, okay. Well we all know Gregor, didn't do too well. He's from the rear organizer. I like the fact movement speed plus 20. I think we're going to have to go with Tywin in the center. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We'll have Gregor on the flank and Adam Marbrand. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what have we got here? The Brotherhood of Valk banners have swollen in numbers as the North has appeared to have joined them. So, what can we do? I think we're going to start by trying to take some lands and we're going to try and take some river lands and uh, we'll go for pink maiden first and we'll see ideally we want Stannis's army down here we want these these guys to collide we'll keep a good eye on king's landing our supply limit damn it we're over so we need to get rid of about four thousand men which is easy enough just takes a little bit of time and we'll use these men to actually uh, be a flanking force I think. We'll do one more just to be safe, that should be enough. Let's get you guys down to Stony Sep. Excellent, so now we can see we have the, uh, the Tyrells, our allies, are attacking the Starks, that's fine. Faith of the Seven Uprising has declared against Rob the Young Wolf. Nice, a little bit more of a distraction while his armies are. Illyrio Monpatis has uh, legalised slavery. Can't say I care too much. We've won the siege, taking control of Antlers. So it looks like they are in a shattered retreat now. Now where are they going to end up? Dari. If we were to break this, we could actually try and take advantage of this. Let's push on out, but before we do so, let's even out the forces. I do not want to have Gregor in charge of the majority of our forces, especially not on the flank. So, um, we'll get it to about 4,000 or so. I'm happy with that. Off you go. Khaleesi, Daenerys Stormbar has declared the great uh, grass sea Yunkish war of emancipation. Interesting. I'm going to send up the fact that we can stay there. We'll stay in Stony Sept for now. So they've crossed over here, so we need to be careful with what we're doing here. We're starting to suffer from some slight attrition. But we can take care of this army. I'm not going to cross this river. 
gonna go this way. They've decided to run straight into us. Let's get to Harrenhal. And then we'll decide where we go from there. We're prepared for the Stark, so if they want to come back across. And it looks like they are doing so. They're heading directly to Dari. Dari's in the plains. We have the men. If we were to go to Dari. They would stop. Okay, we've got a little bit of a standoff here. And that's an excellent point for us to end this episode. So come back and join us next time. And we'll see if Tywin can make his stamp on this wall and kill a few kings. Cheers.